What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be working out with my boy Evan over here. We're going to be warming up and we're going to be taking you guys through a push day, okay? So we're going to be doing uh, chest, he's going to be doing triceps, um, and then I'm going to be doing shoulders too. I'm going to write the full workout in the description box below so you guys can kind of try it out on yourself and stuff. But for the most part, we're going to be hitting a power building type approach workout. So we're going to be going heavy on bench and we're going to be doing some other accessory movements for chest and stuff. And then, like I said before, like I kind of prioritize my my push days and stuff. So, so we're going to be going a little bit heavier on shoulders today instead of chest just because that's how I feel like works the best. You know, I the first day of the cycle, I do a heavier chest, less shoulders. This is the second day, we're going to do less chest, a little bit more shoulders. So. I want to show you guys through all that. I gotta warm up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Just finished warming up. Now we're gonna be doing activation exercises with the incline hammer strength push machine. I always preach to do activation because your muscles are cold, right? You need to turn them on. You need to, you know, kind of like set the tone for the rest of the workout. So this is what we're gonna be doing to warm up before we hit the bench, right? What's going on guys? Welcome to this video. So I hope you guys just enjoyed the workout. But right now I'm gonna be talking about something really fucking important. Alright. It's coming up to that time of year. You're you're gonna see a lot of videos like this. Um and I just wanted to give my opinion of a new year's resolution. How are you gonna get better in 2018, you know, than you were in 2017? Where does that start? I'm going to show you guys, or I'm going to talk about how I kind of go through the process and how I think the best way that you should do it is, right? So, um, I believe what I have to say is very valuable and I believe a lot of you need to hear it, 
okay? Because I know a lot of people want to fucking change, right? Everyone wants to change, but they don't know really how to do it. It's just like everyone wants to look good, everyone wants to be in shape and stuff, but not necessarily everyone knows how to do it. And that's like why you hire coaches and stuff like that, whatever. But I just want to give you guys my two cents on what a New Year's resolution is, all right? So first, what is it, right? So when people go about making New Year's resolutions, it's like, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to lose 20 pounds, I want to quit smoking, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, all that stuff. The pattern keeps on going on. Now, where, where that is flawed is in the sense that there is no vision attached to that sentence. I want to lose 10 pounds. So you're only focusing, by saying that, st that statement, you're putting out in the universe, I have 10 pounds to lose. I wish I was 10 pounds lighter. That is what the universe is receiving when you say that. So it's not really focusing on you wanting to lose 10 pounds, it's the fact that you haven't lost the 10 pounds yet, okay? So there is no vision attached to that. So instead, instead, what I'm here to tell you guys is that screw the New Year's resolutions. If you want to have more time with your kids or your parent, if you, um, I want, you want to lose weight, okay? You want to get in a nice routine. You want to be more organized. You have to have a vision for that because those statements have nothing attached to them. They have absolutely nothing that's going to pull you, okay? Tony Robbins talks about a push and a pull. If you decide on something, I want to lose 10 pounds, you have to push towards that goal. You have to really push. And push relies on willpower, which never fucking lasts, okay? It never lasts at all, right? Because you can only have so much willpower before you're broken. But if you have a vision, a strong, strong, strong vision of what you look like 10 pounds later, okay? How you feel how you act with people, how confident you are, how you look in clothes. Do you fit in those jeans that you haven't fit in? That is the vision that you need to be projecting out in the universe and in your mind so that you can work towards that. Having a vision allows you to have something to work towards, okay? If you say, my New Year's resolution is I just wanna lose 10 pounds, there's nothing attached to that that's gonna pull you. It's not gonna pull you towards that goal, okay? It's not. Okay, if you say that, you have to push that shit and it's not going to work because it's going to break you. So when you are going out about it and stuff like that, you need to decide on something that is going to pull you towards it. That way, when the hard times come and they, they will come, okay, weight loss is not something that everyone can do and that's why there's people who are overweight and people who are not overweight. That's the simple reality of it, okay? If you have something that pulls you, if you have a strong enough vision, all right, you, you're, so let's say your vision is fitting in those jeans that you haven't fit in for a couple of years. Interacting with people confidently, being able to look someone in their eye, knowing that you're so confident about how you look, and that's it. Think about that, that vision, because when you get to the hard times and they will fucking come, your vision is gonna allow you to fail and then rise back up and continue going. But if you focus on, I want to lose 10 pounds and then you, you, you lose five pounds and you hit a rough patch, you'll quit because your willpower will be completely wiped out. All right. Decide on that vision right now, right now, as you're watching this video, please think about in your head what you want to make happen. Okay, specifically what your vision is. What are you gonna look like? How are you gonna decide to already be that thing? Do that goal, right? Do that, do what you want. How are you gonna decide right now in your head to create that vision that's gonna pull you towards it, okay? If you wanna lose 10 pounds, picture yourself actually being there already so that you have something to work towards, okay? 
A vision is going to allow you to keep on moving until you get there. Saying a foolish statement like, my New Year's resolution is this, is not going to provide anything that's going to pull you, and it's not going to motivate you when you're down, and there's going to be no discipline attached to it. Because when you have a vision, what a vision is, guys, is a goal that you have in your head, right? Your own little reality, right? Your own vision, your own picture in your head. That's what's going to draw you towards it, all right? Because only you know that, and that's going to pull you. Okay, and I really want to get this point across because it's so fucking important that if you want to accomplish anything in 2018, that vision has to be so freaking clear, guys. That vision, you have to be able to smell it. Think about what you're going to smell like, right? Think about what you're going to see when you wake up in the morning. Think about how you're going to feel inside, outside, how your body's going to look, what you want to have developed and everything like that. And although you may not be perfectly you know, creating your vision in a sense, but you are projecting a reality in your head that you think is possible and that is what's gonna pull you, okay? It's very important to have something that's gonna pull you instead of relying your, on yourself to push towards that goal, okay? Because when the hard times come, your discipline, your motivation, they're all gonna be wiped away if you don't have something that's gonna pull you towards your goals. I don't wanna talk too much, guys. I really wanna get this point across. Don't be that person that's going to wait till the 31st and right after that, you're going to start acting, okay? Act right now. And if you don't want to, it could be so simple. If you don't want to act right now, start thinking right now. Start envisioning. That's a kind of, a, that's an action, guys. It's not that hard. Sit in your bed at night, 10 minutes, visualize what you want to do. Visualize, have that vision, start creating it. Start running through, you know, what it's gonna look like, how you're gonna look, how you're gonna feel, and that's gonna fucking pull you to that vision, okay? That is gonna start pulling you slowly but surely, all right? Everything begins as a thought, guys. Nothing just happens. Everything is just starts out as a thought, and then you go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this message, please give the video a thumbs up. It'll let me know that you guys really did resonate with what I had to say. Um, I'm sorry if I made it too wordy, but I just feel like I had to speak from the heart there. And however long it took, that's just what happens, all right? So I want to thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I love you guys so much. This year, this end of the year, guys, has been completely life-changing for me. And I just appreciate the people who watch the channel, watch the content, you know, comment, they thumbs up, stuff like that. I love you all. And I really do appreciate that, guys. It, it Like, this is, it's unreal, all right? December, November and December have been crazy, okay? And that's thanks to you guys. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all that you guys have done. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right?